Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, talking TCU. We got to Billy Wessels on the line from Rivals Purple Menace. Billy, how you doing this afternoon? Doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Uh, TCU, the last time we saw you guys, you were struggling to score points. Now, of course, you shut down Cal, but uh, it was uh, pretty much of a uh, rock fight, uh, 10 to 7 in the Cheez-It Bowl. Uh, so, of course, you'll always be able to cherish uh, having ushered in the Cheez-It Bowl, uh, unlike anybody else in college football. So uh, <laughs> that probably sets us up better than anything else for the quarterback situation. Uh, where Sean Robinson was supposed to be the guy for the next few years, but he has moved on to Missouri. Um, Mike Collins has the experience, uh, but he's banged up, and he didn't necessarily set the world on fire in any of his uh, opportunities. So it's pretty wide open if you can set the stage for us. Yeah, super wide open, and you mentioned the cheese bowl the legendary cheese bowl as we refer to it here. Uh, the best bowl game all year, easily better than the Super Bowl, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, the, the this quarterback situation is totally still kind of up in the air. Alex Delton is a tra grad transfer from Kansas State. He's a guy that TCU's seen a lot of, and fans don't really want him to win. It's kind of weird. They don't want him to win the job uh, because they saw him at Kansas State, and TCU pretty much shut him down every time TCU played Kansas State. He was he did not have good numbers. It was like a fifty percent passer his entire career at Kansas State. Uh, but we got to watch a little bit of practice a couple weeks ago, and he was out there slinging it. He was out there dropping dimes, and a lot of people were like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that's a real thing. I think giving this guy a chance to play in a real offense and not Kansas State's uh, 1875 offense that – that uh, that are, oh, I can't think of his name already. The old coach had just, just retired. Uh, are, are you uh, disparaging Bill Snyder? Bill Snyder, the legend Bill Snyder. Uh, yeah, but his his thing was old and, and well not not his thing his offense was old uh, <laughs> his offense was old and, and archaic and now you get Alex Dillon kind of a new a new fangled offense with Sonny Cumbie involved and in, in, in charge of growing and developing him developing him I think he can become the starting quarterback I think it's down to him and Justin Rogers though Justin Rogers the highly touted recruit out of Louisiana um, you may some people might not remember his first game of a senior of high school destroyed his knee. Uh, tore all the ligaments, knee kind of flopped around like it's not supposed to, uh, and, and now he's kind of recovering from that. And he had the biggest thing was the drop foot issue, uh, which if you're familiar with the Dallas Cowboys, Jalen Smith had. Uh, it took him about two full, year, full years to recover. And right now with Justin Rogers, about a year and a half into his recovery, uh, GP has said, Gary Patterson has said repeatedly that he's about 90 to 95% in. Um, so he's close. And I think if the season were to start, I think Justin Rogers wins the job. I think Rogers. Uh, is going to be fully healthy and good to go come the fall. But I think there's room for Alex Delton to play a little bit, whether it's a – we call it the wild frog here. Everyone's got that little wild cat package they use. Uh, give them an option to throw the ball. They've run the wild frog a lot the last couple of years, both running back that has never attempted a pass. So if you have Alex Delton in there who can run, who's a great athlete and a great runner, and you actually have a legit threat to throw the ball in some of those plays, the offense could become wide open and way more explosive like it was five years ago. So I'm pretty much hooked on uh, looking up college football stats on college football reference. And anytime you look up a quarterback and they post their rushing stats first and then the passing yeah. stats second, that's a great indication because that happens like 3% of the time. And with Alex Delton, it's exactly what you just said. And and I've seen him play uh, probably 10 or 12 times, I would guess, uh, when Kansas State was a little bit better. Last year, I hardly see, saw them play because they won five games didn't need to see them play, but uh, yeah, he, he's a, he's a runner, but uh, kind of a fullback style guy uh, that's got a bit of a swerve, but uh, yeah, the, in the passing game, if you look up uh, Mike Collins and now I'm not grinding down to opponents and what the performance really was, but if you just look at the plain stats, uh, Mike Collins, Alex Delton, it's pretty much the same uh, Collins, six touchdowns, two picks, 56% and Delton's in that 56% range, five TDs and four picks. So, uh, not uh, dynamic numbers out of these guys, and that's why you got a quarterback battle. Yeah, that's why you have a battle here. And Justin Rogers, uh, you'll see his numbers. You'll see one for one for one yard in the Cheez-It Bowl uh, because he played a grand total of three plays in that game. Uh, one was a, a a ball where he he kind of got rushed, got sacked, and I was able to bounce off a guy and get I think, I think a zero yard rush out of it, uh, and then like ran for a zero yard gain out of bounds, and then completed a literally a one-yard pass or something like that. But he was the one guy to not throw an interception in the Cheez-It Bowl, uh, which is impressive to say nonetheless. But I think if he's healthy enough to play at least a little bit in the bowl game, he's healthy enough to play in any game. So I think he's the ed he's got the edge right now. I think he'll be the guy uh, come fall. And that's who fans want to see. They want to see Justin Rogers be the guy. Four-star recruit out of Louisiana, kind of local. It's only three hours away where he's from. 
Uh, you want to see him play, and and he's probably the best chance for this offense to be successful.